Hi everyone, this is Brianna from Hostel Shop, and I'm here with Scott, and we are having another episode of our Shop Talk. Um, a couple weeks ago, Scott and I um, did one of our uh, first sessions, and we did it on some smart trainers. And during that process, we kind of talked a little bit about some of the apps and stuff, but um, that video generated a lot of conversation from you guys about um, what the differences are, what they hook up to, and what exactly a smart trainer does. So we wanted to expand on that a little bit more. Right. Um, weather's kind of getting cruddy outside right now, at least here in central Wisconsin, and people aren't able to get out on their recumbents and their um, traditional bikes as much right now. And that's where the world of trainers kind of helps. Yes, the, the new trainers that are out there makes it a lot easier to ride inside, more exciting. And what Brianna is going to talk about today is the different types of trainers uh, from the entry level ones up to the, the smart direct drive trainers. Yep. I'll, I'll let Brianna start. Okay, so um, trainers as a category have been around for decades. Um, they have been anything from rollers that some of you guys maybe are familiar with um, to a wheel based system where you put your rear axle in and your wheel rubs on a roller and it spins and you ride. Um, they are a product that's still out there. We still carry them. They are a good price point for people just kind of getting into the um, active of riding inside. Um, the problem with riding inside on a traditional trainer is it can be a little bit boring. Um, some of the <laughs> slogans I've heard is it can make five minutes feel like an hour because there isn't necessarily any um, feedback or resistance or stimulation to make you want to ride at a higher heart rate to change your gears and things like that. And so your people tend to just kind of get in a groove and just spin. Um, in recent uh, times now, the last, you know, probably five, 10 years, the advent of the smart trainer and the um, apps that go along with that have really taken off. And so now there is the opportunity to make riding inside a lot more engaging. Um, the, the kind of gateway into this is to have your traditional trainer um, and get something like a speed sensor that you can then mount to your existing bicycle um, that is Bluetooth enabled. And then that signal can then interact with different apps and we can talk about that. It does give you that inability to interact with the app, however, you're not going to get any feedback. So it's still kind of up to you to shift your gears. You're not gonna feel the resistance like you're riding up a hill, which again, we'll, you'll kind of see some simulations of that in a little bit. If you want something that's a little bit more realistic feeling, a little bit more engaging, something to keep you riding a little bit harder, um, that's where you're gonna wanna get into a, a true smart trainer. And we've got some in the boxes here. We have both of them on display. Um, on our sales floor. The first is again a wheel based system like your traditional trainer. It hooks up to your rear axle. Um, your tire rubs on a roller system um, and the other option takes your wheel out of the equation entirely and you get a cassette mounted onto the unit which is on the other side here and then you can ride from there. We uh, Pros and cons to each um, the, the wheel-based system is less expensive. It is easy to switch multiple bikes in and out of if you have a bunch of people in your household that may be riding it that have different gear ratios or completely different size bikes. Um, you can use a traditional bike and a recumbent bike in them um, and swap them out pretty easily. Um, the downside is, is that you are going to get a lot of uh, more rubbing on your tire and wear on your tire because this unit presses right up against it. Um, you also, it's not going to feel quite as realistic when you are riding up those hills. So a little bit more wear on your tire. Um, they do make trainer specific tires that you may want to get depending on your wheel size. They aren't offered in all wheel sizes though, so they might not have a trainer tire for say your recumbents, uh, some recumbent models. The direct drive system uses a flywheel inside and you mount your cassette on it, you take your whole wheel out of the equation, um, and so you're not getting that wear and tear. Um, we do recommend per, from an ease of installation that you maybe buy a, a second cassette so you keep the one that's on your existing wheel and buy one that matches and put it on here so that way you don't have to, use, every time you want to use it, switch your cassette out. But in here is a big heavy flywheel on this model, I think it's a 20 pound flywheel, which is going to be much more realistic feeling when it comes to actually getting on the bike and riding. Um, there's going to be um, 
more accurate power readings and cadence, and cadence and speed sensors on these as well. So, um, so that's kind of the difference between the models. Um, where they really shine though is in the apps themselves. And so I'm gonna hop on the bike and Scott's gonna kind of take over because I won't be able to talk because I'll be out of breath. <laughs> and we'll kind of talk about what's going on in the app. The app that we're gonna talk about specifically is Zwift. That's what we have set up as a demo unit here in the store. If you guys are in the area and you want to test out any of these different models, we have them all able to hook up. So that's an option too. So anyway, I'll hop on and stop yammering and Scott will take over. So right, right now um, with, the, with the smart trainer that Brianna's getting ready to, ready to get on, um, we're gonna have her ride in Central Park, New York. And once she starts pedaling, the virtual Brianna will start moving down the road. Um, this is one of the things she mentioned. It's a lot more exciting than just watching a TV show, listening to music. You can actually interact on this. Um, if you look over here, there's the names. We've got the hospital shop and we've got people from like six or seven different countries that are riding in Central Park with her virtually from around the world. Um, what this does also is it shows her miles per hour at the top, which is 20. It shows how far she's gone, two tenths of a mile, the feet she's climbed, and it also, up in this other corner here, it has a map of where she's going, and it shows the percent grade, and right now she's at a zero percent grade, which is pretty easy in Central Park. So far. Um, over here on the, the top left-hand uh, side of the screen, it has her heart rate, which is 72 beats for a minute right now, she's at 138 watts and 79 RPM. That um, heart rate doesn't come, you have to have a Bluetooth. You have to have a heart rate strap or a, a fitness watch that can mm -hmm. transmit uh, the compatibility. Um, so now I'm going downhill, 4% got a lot easier. And you can actually choose on this which way you want to go through New York Central Park. I mean, there's other options. You can use the controller that is part of this Apple Smart TV here, or you can have your laptop TV, a laptop computer in front of you, and also you can use the Zwift app on your smartphone, on an iPhone or an Android phone. Um, right now, she's kind of grinding to a slow halt here as she goes up a 7% grade climb that's going up to 8. But this is where the realistic part of the trainer comes in, into play. Instead of just pedaling in one gear, at 90 RPM for an hour trying to make time go by fast. You can actually interact with the terrain. It changes resistance, it makes it harder. You have to shift gears. Um, you can get out of the saddle if you have to, to, to stand and climb. But this is the, the big thing that's happening in the smart trainer world. It's making it more exciting to be inside. Um, this week I've been on it three times. I've only been on my fat bike outside once. It's very convenient for me to, to ride here at work. If anybody wants to come down here and try one of these smart trainers, you're more than welcome to. Um, we can get the bike set up to whatever size it needs to be. You can bring your, your biking shoes with clipless pedals. We can do that also. But um, it's just a whole new experience out there and it makes it a little bit more exciting. I mean, one of the reasons a lot of people buy trainers and they never ride them is they're just boring. And if you can get, interact with a program in a community like Zwift here, and there are other ones out there too, um, this isn't the only one, but this is the popular one right now. You can ride in New York City, you can ride in London, you can do workouts, you can do a 10-week training plan if you want to. So there's a lot of different things you can do with the Zwift program and the smart trainer that Brianna is uh, pedaling on right now. <laughs> We also recommend with these trainers, if you do get one, that you have a fan in front of you. Um, there's a stand that you can put in front of your bike right here that you can put your laptop on. This lowers and raises. Um, a, a towel, a sweat guard, water bottle. I mean, you can have the whole setup with the remotes handy in your phone so that you can make it as uh, much fun as you want to and convenient. But uh, if you have any questions, um, please give us a call here at the hostel shop or check our website, um, stop by, and we will for sure get you, you know, started and educated on smart trainers. 
Also, you can go to our YouTube channel that is you can link through um, on our hostelshop.com website. If you have any other questions. Lena, uh, before I can't talk anymore, fill them in on the promotion we have going on for the month of November right now. Okay, for the month of November right now, if you buy um, the the wheelbase smart trainers, either the uh, Saris or the Wahoo, you get three months of Zwift free. Zwift is a su subscription based app. If you buy the Hammer or the H3 H, uh, H3. or the Wahoo Kicker or the Kicker 4, you get a year of Zwift free with it. Um, that promotion, promotion is going through till the end of this month. While and supplies last. While supplies last. So. And then accessories that we talked about are also 10% off. Yeah, so any accessories for the trainers, 10% off. Uh, with a hammer, um, we've got the kicker climb. We've got the uh, kicker headwind. And there's other accessories that we have. Mats, uh, wheel risers, trainer tires. Um, axles for through axles so that if you have to convert your your bike so that it will work on one of these okay i'm sucking wind so thanks for tuning in to shop talk and we will touch base later thanks thank you